Okay, welcome back. This is part 15 of my How to Build a Community Site tutorial series. Uh, in the last video, we coded the grand majority of our login page, um, and we started to uh, log the user in by getting some information from the database about the user. Uh, so we're going to continue on with that. So after we've gotten the database ID from, well, the database ID for the user that's being logged in, what we want to do is, is we also want to get the database username. So db user equals dollar sign row and then our uh, username. Now, the reason we're doing that is because the majority of people, when they try to log into a website, they don't use capitalization. Um, but maybe when they created their account on your website, they did use capitalization, like me. I log in with a lowercase basic nick. But for the majority of the websites I've signed up as Basic Nick as my username, there's a capital B and a capital N. So uh, majority of people sign up like that and register, uh, not like how they signed up. Uh, so just kind of, it's up to you if you want to do that, but why not? I mean, it's only a single line of code. Um, <clears throat> short line, too. Um, so after we've gotten the database, the ID, the username, um, for now, that's going to be the only information that we get. Um, actually, duh. Um, should I check my database? Yeah, that's good. That's all we're going to need for now. So, uh, so after that, we want to put in dollar sign underscore. Whoops, dollar sign underscore session. Now, when you type in session, it must be in all caps. And then you want to put your brackets, like we're using the post or the get method. And inside of our single quotation marks that are inside of our brackets, um, here is where you want to put the name of the ID um, and the uh, username that's going to be passed through the sessions. Now, I'm just going to put mine as user. And then, so the user session value, we're going to set it equal to our database user uh, value. So that is essentially what logs the user in. And then to check to make sure people have been logged in, uh, we will do that later. Um, now I'm also going to say user ID, and then I'm going to pass along the database ID. So it's just real simple right there. Um, and that's pretty much how you log people in using sessions. Uh, so it's real simple. Uh, and now I'm just going to display a simple message saying, um, you have been logged in as and then I'm just going to say bold and end the bold and then here I'm going to say db user um, and just like that <coughs> um, so nice and simple and everything um, so it's pretty much the entire login process so you can't I can't really test this right now but I will test it later uh, but what we're going to do now is we're going to make our log out script so we're going to create a new file, say logout.php, open it up. We're going to change the title to logout. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and keep this session start at the very top of this page. You must still have that. We're going to get rid of all the PHP code inside of uh, the PHP code bracket that's right there. And inside of here, we're going to say dollar sign, um, and we're going to say user equals dollar sign underscore session so we're getting our session so this is actually the reverse of our session login so it's literally the reverse so we put user on this side and session on that side so it's just the reverse of that and in here we put user and we're just going to go down and we're going to say if dollar sign user so if someone is logged in then we're going to in this block of code we're going to log them out but if they're not logged in, we're just going to echo out a message and say, no user was logged in, just, just to prove that uh, we can show that users are or are not logged in. Um, so inside of our user code block here, we want to say uh, session underscore destroy. Destroy. There we go. So we just want to say session destroy, and then we just want to put our nice little echo message saying um, dollar sign user has been logged out. And I'm going to go ahead and make that bold. 
So just like that. Now, just those two files, that's the login and logout process. Logout is very, very simple. Um, so yeah, I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to FTP the files up so we can go ahead and test them out. Okay, so I went ahead and FTP'd my files. And I'm going to try to log in using a username that's obviously not there. So I'm just going to click login. Your login information was incorrect. So obviously that's working. So I'm going to type in my username. Um, but I'm also just going to type in a random password. It's obviously not my password. Um, I don't even know what I typed in. Your login information was incorrect. So we're still getting that message. If I type in with my appropriate information, and I'm going to hit enter to log in. Ooh, we're still getting that error. Okay. Uh, log in page. Um, <laughs> username. Username. Password and password. Da, da, da. Okay, well, I'm going to pause the video and figure out why I'm getting this error. So I'll be back in a moment. Okay, I figured out what the problem is. Is I forgot to say from right here. So it should say select star from. Uh, so that's kind of problematic. So I'm going to FTP the file. That's the login page. Okay, so the file is now back up. I'm going to click cancel. And I'm going to manually redirect to the page. And I'm going to type in my information. Hit enter. You have been logged in as, and then my username. So you can see that I definitely typed in, you can go ahead and go back in the video, I typed in basic Nick with lowercase letters, and we're getting the capital letters that I uh, registered with. So, if I click home, it's not going to show us anything. But if I go ahead and go to the logout, logout.php PHP page, as soon as it logs, uh, as soon as I go to log out, it says no user was logged in, which means there is a problem with the login page. Um, user, user ID. Um, okay, I am going to pause the video and I'll be right back as soon as I figure out what's wrong. Okay, so it's been quite a while since I filmed the last part. So really bad um, but I figured out why my uh, the sessions weren't working and the problem was with my hosting service so yeah uh, so now the sessions should work I have yet to test this but I contacted my hosting provider and I figured out what the problem was so I'm gonna go ahead and log in and so we have right there you've been logged in as basic Nick We'll go ahead and go back to the home page, and let's go to the log out page. So it, sees, so it says, basic Nick has been logged out. But on the log out page, oh, so we want to go ahead and get rid of that echo right there, and then we're going to FTP that file up uh, real quick. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and I FTP'd the file up, and so if we just refresh, it's going to say we're not logged in. So let's log in so we've been logged in now let's go to the logout page so basic Nick has been logged out okay so that that pretty much concludes the logout uh, the user login and logout um, so what we're gonna start working on next is kind of styling all of those and we're going to work on that in the next video. So uh, check out the next part of the series.